Greetings YouTube and welcome to a very different kind of video than the one I normally post on my channel. Though that does not lessen the importance of something that I think is worth discussing and dissecting for the average summoner that maybe has one or two accounts. Maybe you've got a free to play account and a spending account, shall we say. We'll call them that. But you don't have five or six or 50 accounts, you know. You're a normal human being. You might be in middle school, high school, college. You might have a marriage, kids. I have seen the spectrum while playing this game and certainly during the two and a half years that I've been running an MCS YouTube channel, I've heard a lot of different stories. Since the middle of December of 2019 and up until now, which is past the middle of January 2020, I've talked a lot about bots on my channel, specifically how Kabam plays a public relations game with the community where they play lip service to the fact that they don't allow bots. But then, of course, if you pull up, say, the four-star basic arena, you can see that uh, summoners like Sankar Sama of XOAI5 runs a bot alliance every week and nothing ever happens to them because Kabam doesn't want to do anything about it. And so it has given some regular summoners, some average Joe summoners, the temptation to say, well, I might as well run a bot because if people are doing it all year, saving up for the gifting event and not being caught, then I should do it too. But I caution you that I have heard from far too many people who don't know how to rig the system or go around Kabam's monitors that have lost accounts and lost progression because they have been banned. So just because the right people are being punished doesn't mean the wrong people are uh, going to be punished either. It just means that there are... Uh, Ways, I guess, people go around it. Ways that are honestly unfamiliar to me and against the knowledge that I possess and very much lack thereof regarding programming. But uh, what if I told you that you could not violate the terms of service that Kabam has and still get cheap Odins completely 100% legally by the time that the 2020 gifting event comes back around. You might be wondering, Prof, how is that possible? Well, we're going to establish two rules on the onset of this video. Number one, Kabam says it's not against the terms of service to have multiple accounts, right? And number two, that Kabam says it's okay to gift yourself from your secondary accounts. You can gift in between accounts all day long when you've got that gifting badge and nothing's going to happen to you. It's completely legitimate. It does not violate the terms of service. And you know what else doesn't violate the terms of service? Purchasing something that is offered every day. Hey, look. Looky there. It's the collector's daily card. What a great opportunity to purchase this thing. 735 units, as you can see in the top left of the screen, every month. Hey, that's pretty amazing, right? And so when you do the math and you purchase this, 12 months of the year, you can get quite a few units for $5 a month. So if you do 12 times 5, you're going to be spending $60 worth of cash to get far more of the value for units. Now, I also want to say that Kabam likes to think through things when it comes to, say, champions that are too powerful or aka champions that didn't test well enough, like Neymar or Cole, that they're threatening to quote-unquote rebalance, but they don't always think things through. And the gifting event was a prime example in December where, I mean, it was just obvious, the alliance that won brought in, you know, God knows how many different alt accounts to dump units and add to their score. And then when the, um, you know, members left the alliance, the score stayed the same, and they just kept doing it over and over again. It is within their terms of service to do it. They were not punished because technically they didn't do anything wrong. But uh, in the same way that a lot of these people have connections to a ton of alt accounts, you too can do the same thing as it's currently written. So the method that we're going to talk about is getting 
10,000 units for $60. So 10,000 units divided by 3,100, or how many units are in one Odin, is 3.226 Odins. And so 3.226 times $100 equals $322.60 worth of value for 10,000 units. If you were to buy those in retail price, it would cost you $322.60 plus, of course, tax for many of you. So instead of $322.60 for 10,000 units, this method gets you 10,000 units for 60 bucks. That is about one-fifth of the value or 20% rounded up, 60 out of 322 to be exact. So how do we get 10,000 units for $60? Prof Huff, is this illegal? Are you using bots? Are you into that credit card fraud I've heard in the black market or dark web of MCOC? Are you obtaining these units through the tears of exploited children? Well, no. No, 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 no. Unless you count my students as children because they do tend to cry when they get their grades back in my classes. But no, this is all working following the terms of service. So you can really understand this by starting with what's in front of you, the collector unit card. So 735 units is what you get every month. So if you do 20 units for 30 days, you're going to get that. It's a guarantee. And you just have to log in once. It's not like in these alt accounts, you have to do anything besides logging in because that's going to be the theme of this. You don't have to do a single arena fight. You don't have to do anything besides purchasing the collector's daily card and just refreshing it before it expires. But hey, remember these awesome daily calendars? Well, yes, progression levels does determine a lot of different things like the tier two alpha catalyst you see in front of you, six star shards, five star shards, etc. But not when it comes to units. So when you log in on day six, 10 units, day 13, 20 units, day 20, 30 units, and day 40, 40 units, you get an additional 100 units. And when you break the math down, when you combine these units with the collector's daily card, you get 835 units each month for the collector's daily card, the $5 one. And when you add that in to the bonus units you get for the monthly calendars, you get 835 units times 12 for 10,020 units. And so in a year, the collector's daily card plus the login calendar yields the summoner 10,020 units valued at $322.60 retail price for just 60 bucks. This was done as intended. 100% legal, no bots, no PVP fights, just purchasing the daily collector card for units and logging in for the calendars. You don't have to progress at all to do this. Now there are people out there who are clever enough to know this. They did this toward the end of uh, 2019 when this became apparent and they're doing it now in 2020. We have a system here that is a completely legal workaround that doesn't violate anything. So I kind of want to leave you with this. We know that whether it's accounts that just do the login every day and purchase the daily card or accounts that try bots, that as long as gifting is legal between accounts and ultimately you can dump those units in the form of everything from revives to, of course, the most popular greater gifting crystals and the score stays when you join that alliance for the gifting event, that there aren't really going to be any consequences at all. May they increase the price of the collector card? Possibly. Will they stop the gifting event? Probably not, though that is certainly what some are calling for. Perhaps the answer isn't any of these things. Perhaps the lesson here is the same that we have seen with champion changes. You have to think ahead and think through the consequences of your programming. And too often, kabam, they don't think about that. They're kind of just concerned about going day to day. And it's not until you've seen things exploited both legally and illegally for months and maybe years that they might wake up. But by then, it's probably too late. And so for those of you who are exploiting this, I say, good for you. You're not violating anything. And yet you're uh, just doing what kabam will give you. 10,020 units for 60 bucks. That's a pretty amazing deal if you ask me. And well, 
If I had more time, it definitely makes me tempted to have many different alt accounts, especially for December of 2020.